Alex Jones in the news again. His organization, InfoWars, have been hit with a defamation lawsuit for spreading fake news about one of the witnesses to the murder of a woman during the Charlottesville rally last year. Now, this the latest case out a little bit. You had a reporter. Well, it wasn't a reporter. The, the, you had somebody who was filming all of this. And this individual, has, after, he, after the film was released, Alex Jones makes up this fantasy story. This guy's, the guy's name was Gilmore. He makes up this fantasy story at, about, uh, about, about Brennan Gilmore, who did the filming, saw the woman being dragged down the road. It's a horrendous kind of video. But he makes up this story that Gilmore, since he was a, uh, he was a service officer with the department uh, with the State Department, but he says that Gilmore was actually working for the CIA, and this was all planted by the CIA. This was a an event that the CIA wanted to take place. They set it all up, and according to Alex Jones, Brennan Gilmore was the person in charge of doing that. That's why he filmed it, which of course is nuts talk. It's nut talk. So the question then comes out, and, and in the end, Gilmore's family gets death threats. They hack his system. He gets physically, physically accosted. They send white powder to his parents' home because Alex Jones... Well, because make, he videoed. Oh, yeah, so, videoed so what is your take on I mean, first of, all, first of all, you know what my call is? My call is, unfortunately, I think Gilmore loses this case. What's your take? I, I think it's a risk, and you know, it's funny you say that because... At the end, it, it, we've got to make a political system and a judiciary system that backs up these people and protects them. So they've got to have claims that are viable in court. No one else is going to protect them against these politically motivated attacks. In order to stop this kind of conduct, they've got to be able to uh, bring lawsuits and hit them in the pocketbook. I mean, go ahead and go after their bottom line and their bank account because that's what's going to stop this kind of conduct with these politically motivated hacks, these pattern of attacks. So if if police force isn't going to stop it, we got to do it in the judiciary. I don't know, man. But I, I, I hear you. Can, My, can he make it stick? I, I don't know. I, I don't. But, think, I don't think he wins. I don't think he wins. I think there's a couple things. But should that, he win? Is the question. Uh, well, should he, should win? he win? From a moral standpoint, the answer is yes. From a First Amendment standpoint. Hopefully, hopefully no. I mean, I, I just shill and a CIA. Yeah, asset. Yeah, he called him a deep state, a deep state shill and a CIA asset. And the question is, is if I'm if I'm defending Alex Jones, which I think, I hope I never have to do, but if I'm defending Alex Jones, what I'm saying is I'm tying up this issue of him being a service officer for the State Department. That's the first thing. I'm, I'm trying to raise his role as a public figure. Okay. Right. Now that alone doesn't do it. But when you take the film and you put it on the Internet and it goes all over the place, you're doing that knowing that you in some ways are becoming very much a public figure. The name Brendan Gilmore becomes part and of that. And that's one of the defenses. And I that's mean, one of the defenses. You can prove it, it, truth or a public yeah. figure. The standard goes the way standard up. The standard goes way up. And unless you have actually, you see, well, the best, the best argument for, for Gilmore is to say that that uh, the Alex Jones accused him of a criminal act, because if you raise the standard and you accuse somebody of a criminal act, even if they're a public figure, that raises the uh, that raises defenses. the review, and you don't necessarily win. But it's 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 slander per se, you know, it's libel per se, which which means we start off with a presumption that you've accused that person of a criminal offense. And because you've accused them of the pr criminal offense, we maybe can get around the public figure issue. The burden issue. shifts. The burden shifts a little bit. It's not entirely. But, I, you know, there's ways, I don't know, there's ways to win this case. But I think, uh, I, I think Gilmore has got a, he's got a road that he's got to overcome. A lot of case law. Fortunately, the one thing we do protect in this country, even no matter who's president, that they can't seem to take away from us is the First Amendment. And this, anytime I see a case like this that threatens, I don't care who it is, you know, I don't care, I don't care who it is, if you're threatening a for, the right to be able to say these things, uh, then, then I think you're making inroads into, into doing harm to the First Amendment.